Thank you so much for joining us on this Tuesday morning. Now, as the month of November draws to a close, so does the yearly Movember initiative. Now, uh, for our weekly medical segment today, we turn our attention to men's health. And we're joined today by urologist Dr. Hans Rabi to discuss uh, the very issues that Movember, the Movember movement aims to raise awareness about. And it's great to have him here with us. Good morning, Dawadela. It's good to have you here with us. And of course, this is one of those interactive discussions that we'd like to have with you as well. So we ask you to call us, uh, of course, raising questions or giving your comments regarding men, uh, men, uh, male-related health concerns. And our number is 0839133728. We're going to start first with prostate cancer. And the question that I want to start uh, with over there is, what noticeable changes can one see in your daily life that would be an indication that you might be, uh, there's a possibility of prostate cancer that you might have? Okay, you the things that you would notice are basically nothing. Wow. But if you have a family history of prostate cancer, it means that you should be more aware and that maybe you should go for your checkups earlier mm -hmm. than the usual 50 plus age that is, uh, that is advised. Yeah. But uh, what you will notice in the early stages of prostate cancer is you may notice some changes in the way you pass your water, you need to go to the toilet more often mm -hmm. to go and empty your bladder, but these are already rather advanced signs of the condition. Mm -hmm. So as long as the prostate cancer is still confined to the prostate or within the prostate or rather it hasn't spread there's very little that you will notice yourself mm. you will notice you will know that you may have a predisposition if there are other people with cancer in the family mm -hmm. and if you are over f between 50 and 70 you will know that you are in the target group okay and better have it checked out yeah i guess that was my next big question do do men still need to go for that the dreaded digital rectal examination. Well, I get that. I get asked that every day in my work. Mm -hmm. Now, I thought I'd just tell you very quickly that the digital examination. I think you should also only need if you are in that target age group. Okay. If you are 40 and your father had cancer, or if you're 50 without a family history, you should go for the examination. Mm -hmm. The finger examination is supplementary to the, to the uh, blood test that oh, is done. Right. We call it the PSA. Now, if you go for the uh, digital examination in the rectum, let me give you a tip, because what is worrying about it? Number one, okay, it does a little bit to your self-image and to your honor, etc., and so forth. But there's also a fear that it may be painful. Now, I'm going to give you a tip, you gentlemen out there, mm -hmm. who will need or may have to undergo this. There are two things important. The one is enough lubrication, and the second one is let the sphincter relax. Now, the lubrication is the doctor's business. The relaxing is your business. So, the thing to do is as the finger goes in, try and push it out again. Consciously try and push it out. That makes the sphincter relax and there's no pain and it's just like checking the oil in a motor car. Nothing more and nothing less. Doctor, you are amazing. Thank you so much for joining us and we will continue our chat with Dr. Rabi shortly and we'll keep our lines open 0839133728. We're talking about male related health concerns that we want to engage with you on right now. Let's head on over to the kitchen. Oh, you can make my day. 